has happened. Now let's calm down, okay? I was about to offer you help, but I'm guessing you don't need it. Wait, I'm waiting. I'm sorry. Can you please help me with math? Okay, so what do you need help with? It's just, I don't understand why we need this. Do we really have to talk about this again? Yes. What is it this time? Quadratic equations. Okay. Uh, quadratic equations, they can be very useful. Uh, for example, they are needed to understand the price you need to set your product to get a profit out of it. Uh, they also come in handy when calculating the area of a room or when setting up a satellite dish, which helps you watch TV. Well, we also use streaming services now, but okay. Yeah, but satellite dishes are also used for radio stations, so yeah. And I'm pretty sure they're used for space too. And also, I know you don't use physics in your daily life, but quadratic equations are very useful when calculating speed or figuring out how high you can throw an object like a ball or anything else you can think of. And also, you can use quadratic equations to solve equilibrium problems in chemistry. Okay, but like, how will I use it at my future job, for example? I'm glad you asked, because actually quadratic equations are used in a lot of jobs, like engineering, where they use them practically everywhere, uh, management, military, law enforcement, um, teaching, but mostly if you teach science or math subjects, and also space science and even agriculture, where they need to calculate the area of specific places where crops can grow better. Oh wow, that's a lot of jobs. Yeah. They're also useful when designing bridges and fountains. Overall, quadratic equations are very useful and not just in the classroom. Okay, thank you. Now, can you please explain to me how you solve quadratic equations? I just uh, kind of didn't get it. Sure.